How you going? This is a Sleepy Koala, and I'll be showing you a simple way to use subtitles in Unity. Now, assuming that you already have voice lines pre-recorded, a dialogue script at hand, and your audio clips at the ready, let's get started. Firstly, we'll start by creating a new script called Subtitle Controller in the Unity Editor. So just going over to do it now, Subtitle Controller. And double clicking it to open the script. We will proceed to get rid of the update function as it's not needed. Next, we'll add the following variables. So we're going to start with private text asset, naming it subtitles text file. Then we're going to add private String, calling it voice lines folder path. Then we're going to create a subtitle array called subtitles before finally creating a private int called current subtitle index. We want to add a serialized field attribute to all of them. So just going to do that now and copy paste uh, before giving them our required attributes because they're going to be needed. Uh, one to subtitles text file and um, the other to the voice lines folder path. And honestly, to avoid the hassle uh, a little later down the line, we're going to add three namespaces. So using system dot component model and then we want to get data annotations and then using system linked and using tm pro because of course we'll be using text mesh pro for our final uh, product next we're going to quickly create the actual subtitle class instead of just writing it down so you can either look straight from the IDE or go back to Uni Editor. It's really your choice. I'm going to do it from the IDE. And we're going to create, we're going to generate a new subtitle class called subtitle, changing internal to public. We will then add three variables. So it's going to be public int line represent the line um, then we're going to add public string text and then public float duration so you want to know how long the subtitle is meant to last on the screen before it goes to the next one I uh, will then add a system dot serializable uh, this is so we can view our subtitles in the editor and with that save and we're done with subtitle. All right, now for the fun stuff. We're going to now curate a private avoid on validate function. So just taking advantage of the little snippets I have here. I'm going to create an on validate function within which I'm going to say code rather subtitles equals subtitles text file dot text then dot split parentheses and we're going to say within it new array environment dot new line comma, string, split, options, dot, remove, empty entries. You're going to notice that GitHub Copilot's actually giving me a hand. Uh, very useful to have, especially in our game development toolkit. Um, dot select, parentheses, oops, 
parentheses, parentheses. I'm gonna say line, comma, index. And then arrow function, new subtitles. And then we're going to put here, um, actually, we'll say curly bracket, return, new subtitle, curly bracket again. And we're going to tell it we want line to equal our index before going over to text. We want that to equal our line. Or actually, in this case, I would rather have it be voice line. So I'm just going to quickly change that. And our duration shall be duration equals get voice line duration. And we want to use our index because our index will be our ID for that line. And we're going to close it off with a curly, curly bracket, semicolon, curly bracket, parentheses, dot to array. Right. And just fixing up this code. Yeah, once again, really handy to have it. It's gonna do wonders. Um, you may be saying to yourself, but the sleepy koala, hold on two secs. You don't have a get voice line duration function. And that's okay. We're actually gonna make it now. So moving, yeah, we'll just do it below the on validate function. We're going to create a public float function called Get voice line duration, and we're going to pass in. You see that it's already suggesting what I should do. We're going to pass in an int. We'll call it. Uh, we'll just call it by its line. That's fine. And we're going to put within the function string path equals dollar sign and we're going to say so this is a string literal that we're using right now we're going to say uh voice lines folder path. so make sure it's passed within the curly brackets and then we're going to say forward slash uh line and then we're going to put our line. And that's about it. We'll close that off with semicolon. Then we'll proceed to say var clip equals, so that's the audio clip, resources dot load and audio clip path. Thank you, Copilot, for assisting. And we're just going to do an if statement saying if clip equal equal null, then we want to return zero. So let's also let you know that there's something wrong within the editor. And if that uh, it's not equal to null, if the clip is not equal to null, then we're going to say return clip dot length. So our duration. All right, with the duration now handled, it's time to implement a way to cycle through our subtitles as the voice lines are spoken. So let's start by coding privates I enumerator and we're going to call it show subtitles and we're going to close it off. So 
curly brackets. And we're going to say while current subtitle index is less than subtitles dot length. We want to get component text mesh pro you GUI dot text equals subtitles current subtitle index dot text. Sorry, it's a bit too fast. Copilot has a habit of um, organizing everything. It's great. Uh, we're also going to yield return new wait for seconds, subtitles passing in um, the index, the current subtitle index, and we do drop duration. And then we're going to say we want the current subtitle index to increment. All right. And we just finished off. Uh, before we move back to the editor, we're just going to quickly fix up our start function because we actually do need a way to start the show subtitles coroutine. So we're going to go private void start, start coroutine, show subtitles. I probably should stop being lazy. And to do that, I'm actually going to remove start coroutine from there and the curly brackets. I'm going to say curry function show coroutine, sorry, start coroutine, show subtitles. Just to make it a one-liner, you know, it's always nice to appreciate the one-liners in life. All right, with that done, I reckon it's time to start using the script, but considering I have these ugly errors going on, it means that Unity has something going wrong. So we're going to remove the required and also the useless namespace for now. Normally it should be working, but I don't know. I've recently moved over to the 2021 LTS. Uh, you know, things happen. It is Unity after all. But right, so proceeding on to the editor. We're going to start by adding a text mesh pro text object to our canvas. So right clicking our canvas, going to go over to UI and text, text mesh pro. All right, that can just say the default name and we're going to head over to the inspector, clicking auto size. I'm going to change mine to, uh, let's say, we'll say minimum 30, max 35, because why not? And we'll make sure that wrapping is enabled. So we don't have our text lines going, you know, out of the scene. It's really strange when it does that. And last but not least, we're going to add our subtitle controller. Straight off the bat, we need to add our subtitles text file. I actually use a simple text file with the TXT format to make mine, while also ensuring all lines remained line by line. So just going to scroll back down, I'm going to drag quotes into the text asset. And the voice line folder path, it's actually pretty straightforward, uh, mainly because of how resource.load works. So all we have to do is just add the preceding folders after the resource folder. So in my case, it will start from sounds. So I'm just going to write sounds forward slash voice lines and that's it so hitting enter we're going to see that my subtitles is actually filled as soon as i completed that and we'll have within our elements so we have line zero one two and that's not a knife that's a knife yep so that's all my quotes and my durations for each text line uh, you probably know so i have actually uh zero here, meaning something went wrong. So we're just gonna quickly pop over to our subtitle controller. We're going to go to index and, oh, yep, I've noticed the problem. I was actually meant to increment my index before it actually returned a new subtitle. So just doing that now, we're going to go back to using subtitles, uh, the unit editor, sorry. And you should see that, yep, it's now fixed. 
And yeah, Bob's your uncle. Um, it's pretty great. It's pretty handles for having on validate. You know, Unity just does all the heavy lifting for you. But yeah, we have our subtitles and the duration times and all should work in accordance with our little voice manager. Um, you can see what I did for this in the source code a bit later. But yeah, just give it a little play, just test it out. That's not a knife. That's a knife. Tell them they're dreaming. That's gone straight to the pool room. Why would I shoot a bloke bang, then drive him to the bloody car and whiz him off to the hospital at 100 miles an hour? It defeats the purpose of having shot him in the first place. And yeah, that's um, that's pretty much it. So your subtitles will be aligned with your voice lines and enjoy. Ah uh, yeah, cheers to all of you for watching my videos. I just had my guest video reach over 1k views, which is a pretty satisfying feeling. Um, yeah, no, yeah, uh, the source code for the video will be linked below. Uh, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, take it easy.